we're going to now simplify expressions using the fundamental trig identities. We're going to factor. This first example is just to review difference of two squares, but now we have um, trigonometric functions in there. So the difference of two squares rule, I'm just going to write it off to the side, a squared minus b squared. We learned this in Algebra 2 that if you want to factor this, it would be a minus b, a plus b. Now let's go over to our example. We want to factor the secant squared of x minus 1. This is factored by perfect square of is secant of x and secant of x. And then negative 1 factored out is 1 times 1, so we have positive 1 and negative 1. So that's how you can use the difference of two squares. Later on in our class, we will go a little further with problems like this. Here's a second example. We want to factor using the difference of two squares again. So think of this as sine squared of x squared minus cosine squared of x squared. So now we can split it up as sine squared of x minus cosine squared of x, and then sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x. Now one of these pieces can again factor again right here. We can rewrite this as the sine of x minus the cosine of x times the sine of x plus the cosine of x. And then this other piece, this other parentheses, you'll notice is a Pythagorean identity, which replaces with 1. So our final answer in factored form will just be the sine of x minus the cosine of x times the sine of x plus the cosine of x. If you wanted to take the time to foil that back out, you'd be left back up with that red parentheses.